I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. All Saints Day, you belong to God the Father. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us rolling. And we need your gifts. Those kids need those gifts in these dark times. All Saints Day yesterday, All Souls Day today. Um, and what I want to point out is the epistle lesson. After this, I looked and behold, a great, a great multitude, a great crowd that no one was able to count from every nation and tribe and peoples and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. Palm branches, a symbol of the children of Israel, like waving an American flag, white, pure, holy, baptized, not just a certain people, Israelites, but all people who believe and call upon the name of the Lord standing before the throne, and most importantly, before the Lamb. He, their God, he, their, his people, and they cry out with a great voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And if salvation belongs to our God, then those who are saved belong to our God. See, it's not just that Jesus saves and no one else does. It's that those of us are, who are in Christ, we belong to God. Think about that. God is our father. Jesus is our brother. And we are saved not by what we do or don't do. That's not what defines us. Our sins don't define us. Our failures don't define us. We are not idolaters, misusers of God's name, breakers of the Sabbath. We're not those who hate their parents or murderers or adulterers or homosexuals or fornicators. We're not thieves, gossips or liars or coveters. No, the, all those are what we've done. That's not who we are. Who we are is defined by whose we are. And All Saints Day tells us who's this, who who the saints belong to. They belong to him. To be a saint is to be a holy one, to be one who's been set apart, set apart by God. As if in the pile of all these treats, see these treats, my dog's treats, all these treats, God looks at us and goes, this one's mine. This one's mine. He looks at you and says, you above everyone else, you are mine. And that defines who we are. See, the world wants to define us by our sin. By, by what we think, conservative, liberal, radical, um, leftist, uh, uh, progressive. The world wants to define us by the sins we do. Thief, murderer, adulterer, homosexual, LGBTQ. All of those things are just words and letters which we attempt to, that the world attempts to define us with. And we can get involved in that. And lose the fact that the way we are defined actually is saint. One who God has set apart in the waters of baptism. The angels around the living, around the throne and around the elders and the living creatures, they all fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. And then John looks like, who are these people standing in front of the throne? And one of the elders says, sir, you know. One of the elders asks him that, and John's like, uh, you know, which is a great answer, which is like, uh, uh, you know the answer to that. I, I don't have to give you the answer to that. These are they coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. That's our loved ones. That's us. That's those who've been baptized into Christ. Those who've been washed and made clean in the blood of the Lamb. Our baptism 
defines us. The blood identifies us as one who has been redeemed. So that's who you are. You're not only defined by your sins and your failures. They may make, they may make you feel low. They may make, make, make you feel different. They may make you want to just fight against yourself in this world. But you're defined by Christ. He is who you are. You're a child of God. Whose you are determines who you are. Think about it. The saints, they are the Lord's. You are the Lord's. You have a loving father who gave up his son to save you. That's what makes you who you are. You're baptized. You are a saint. And those who have fallen asleep, we'll see them again too, standing before the throne and before the lamb. And there'll be no more death, no more pain, no more suffering, and most of all, no more sin. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and Thor's making an appearance. And this has been another Higher Things video short.